finally the chance to talk about Studio Ghibli movies. So guess what's coming over to HBO Max? Why, it is basically the entire Studio Ghibli movie library, which is really interesting to hear because on one hand, you know, it is exciting to hear that, you know, these movies are finally going to be brought over to a digital service, but also in that, wow, Studio Ghibli doesn't usually, you know, put their movies on digital platforms, let alone streaming services. So let's get into the story. So as I've been saying in this video, Studio Ghibli movies are coming on over to HBO Max when that move, when that service launches next year. And here I'll put a list of the movies that are set to come to the service, many of which I know are going to be favorites to a lot of you if you've seen Studio Ghibli movies. Movies like Castle in the Sky, I know that my friend Steven Shin, that's one of his favorite movies. Is Spirits of the Way is also on the list, Kiki's Delivery Service, My Neighbor Totoro, and you could read the, the entire list in the screenshot. So it's basically the entire air library coming on day one. There are a couple not noticeable absences. The Wind Rises isn't expected on HBO Go until fall 2020. And this one's actually kind of interesting to me because of of the emotional impact this movie had on me. Grave of the Fireflies, um, it's actually technically G Studio Ghibli doesn't have the rights to that movie, although you can watch that film on Hulu, both the dub version and the original Japanese version of Grave of the Fireflies, and I highly uh, recommend that. It's quite a tearjerker, um, especially um, if you got siblings of your own. I think this movie especially will, you know, really hit you there emotionally. So um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to hear that um, that these movies are going to be coming out on some sort of digital service, which you know, I'll get into the sort of debate as to why Studio Ghibli has never um, released their films digitally. But I will say that me personally, I'm a person that has grown up with many of the Studio Ghibli movies. I remember as a kid seeing movies like Spirits of the Way, Castle in the Sky, Kiki's Delivery Service, Howl's Moving Castle, Totoro, Whisper of the Heart. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, I haven't Admittedly, I haven't seen every single Studio Ghibli movie, but I really enjoy these films, and it is definitely going to be really exciting to hear them come to HBO Max, which I know that, you know, yes, you know, we can get into the debate of, you know, oh, do we have to, you know, pay for yet another one of these services and, you know, that sort of thing. Me personally, I'm still going to give HBO Max a chance when that comes out, since to me, it's still one of the more compelling new streaming services out there. I mean, I've said before that the two that um, are piquing my interest the most are Disney Plus and HBO Max because of the content they're promising. I'm at least, you know, up for giving them a shot. And, you know, we could kind of go into the debate of why Ghibli hasn't really released their films digitally before. And the reason is because they are, you know, a firm believer in protecting the cinematic experience and preserving their, their movies. And, I do get it. I've seen a couple of the Ghibli movies in theaters. In fact, Spirited Away, I actually that was actually the second movie I saw ever in theaters. I remember going to see that movie with my family back um, when the English dub first came out. The other one I saw in theaters was uh, Ponyo, you know, the one about the, um, the one that was kind of inspired by The Little Mermaid. I remember seeing that in theaters. And I do understand the argument. I do really like when I get to go see movies in theaters. I still do to this day. You know, I've seen movies like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I actually saw that in IMAX. I've also seen in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was one of the more recent films that I saw in theaters. I do enjoy the experience of, you know, paying the ticket to go there. I know some are like, you know, ah, is it really worth the ticket? But, uh, you know, I'm a person that really enjoys the cinematic experience, especially, you know, going there with friends and you know watching on a big screen with the really tremendous you know loud amazing sound that you know you can't really get at home so there's definitely advantages but on the other hand I am a person who also enjoys the convenience of you know watching these movies whenever I want and that sort of thing I know there's things like G Kids has the thing called a uh, Ghibli Fest where they release um a good handful of these movies back in theaters, but I want to be able to, you know, watch these movies um, whenever I want, and hence why that's 
also why many of these movies were available on uh, DVD. The uh, home video and DVD. I own several Ghibli movies on DVD. We actually um, do have a VHS copy of Spirits of the Way, but we couldn't find it. So my sis actually went out and got the Blu-ray of um, Spirits of the Way. She actually um, rewatched it recently with my dad, and needless to say, they had a really good time with it. So yeah, so main, so it's mainly out of since I do want to check out each. Bo Max and, you know, at least give it a chance. I am, you know, really excited that now, you know, Ghibli movies are, you know, coming to a streaming service and people are going to have that option to be able to watch them, you know, whenever they want. Like, you know, especially if they, they can't find their, you know, DVD copies or VHS copies or in my case, you know, I watch a lot of um, the uh, movies and shows using things like my iPad and my iPhone. That was how I was, I finished up the final season of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I just, you know, basically binge-watched many of the episodes using iTunes, so I'm definitely excited to see. And admittedly, yes, marketing-wise, it is a, there, there, this is yet another reason to consider, you know, HBO Max. I'm, not that, I, like, I'm a fanboy of, like, you know, HBO Max or anything. I even said on Twitter that this is either yet a really compelling reason to consider HBO Max or groan about it because it's like, you know, yay, hey, Studio Ghibli movies are finally coming to digital, but ah, do I really want to pay for another service to use it? So, but regardless, I'm definitely excited. But I want to hear your thoughts about it down below. Are you excited to see that Ghibli movies are coming to the streaming service? I'm personally interested in seeing, you know, if they're going to bring both the dubbed and sub versions over to HBO Max. Leave all those thoughts down below. Until next time, this has been Blood Boom Bobby, and thank you all for watching. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this Blood Boom Bobby video. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell to get notified when I release my latest videos. Follow me at Blood Moon Bobby on your favorite social media platforms to take part in polls, see my tech tips, and to hear about my video plans. Thanks for watching.